the power of the robot comes from a weight which is falling down a tube and the, uh, the weight is attached to string. The string is then wound around two axles and as the string pulls the axles turn. Uh, the, the, the pole, the post in the centre is attached to a platform and this is the main body of the robot. I took my son's scooter and I cut the wheels off and I took a couple of broomsticks and cut those up as well to make the axles and I just used a, a couple of pieces of old wood for the, for the main body of the, of the robot and all you needed then was some, some string and some lead weights and that was it. The idea is to wrap the string around the axles uh, and for every wind that you put in one direction it will make the robot go forwards. If you reverse the, the direction of the string it will go back. Uh, you can also use pegs into the axle and by winding first one way, going round the peg and then winding the other way, you can go forwards and then back. This string programming language is, is fairly similar to uh, the kinds of languages used in, in modern programming. Um, it, it allows you to program a robot to move forwards, to move backwards, to stop and to turn. And those are exactly the same sorts of commands used in, in modern robots. The main limitation on a robot is the amount of string and, uh, and the, um, the length that the string can move with the weight so that it will only work for a short period of time, which means that you can't make it perform very long, complicated manoeuvres. But if you want it just to move two or three metres um, and perform some simple manoeuvres, then it's, it's perfect.